Welcome to episode five of the Bear Ambo Project. In previous episodes, we began the conversion of a 2012 Demers Class 3 ambulance into Oso, the Bear Ambo, a mobile off grid tiny home. In episode four, Oso visited Felix Auto Body to have the creases and wrinkles brought on by many years of hard service removed. In episode five, Oso moves on to Tyro Coating to complete the cosmetic makeover. So let's head off to Tyro Coating in Calgary, Alberta and continue the process of making Oso look even more beautiful. Some of you do it yourself or you might think you could do a polyurethane coating on your NAMBO yourself. But before you decide to do that, let me draw your attention to the amount of body work that had to be done to prepare 2015 city-driven ambulance for a hot sprayed polyurethane coating. It's extensive. It cost me roughly $7,000 just for the body work and then the coating and then the tow job. So we have to get the body work done at one location, get it brought over on a flat deck truck, and then over to a place like Tyro, and uh, to get the hot sprayed polyurethane coating. And a coating that you, you buy the spray cans from Amazon and put on yourself, well, it's just not gonna stick to the surface as well as a properly applied hot spray. That's why I decided to spend the extra money Hey, look who's wandering around my van back there. Well, that's, that's Mark the Paint Guy. Some of you might, might watch Mark's channel, Mark the Paint Guy, and we're going to go up and say hello. Hey, Mark. Hi, YouTube. Hey. How you guys doing? <laughs> this is the famous Mark the Paint Guy. With, Not famous. With his YouTube channel, and if you haven't watched it, well, I put the link at the bottom of this here page, and you just might want to check him out. Check it out. he knows everything there is to know about fixing vans. And if you got a problem, he might very well be able to help you out. So he's Mark Paint Guy. And he's here at Tyro. Helping he's out. He's going to be here for another week or so. Helping out, putting his personal stamp on the Oslo Bear Emblem. Thank you very much, Mark. You're welcome. I'm here at Tyro Coatings, where John is going to be doing some of the final touches on the preparatory sanding on uh, the Oso Ambo. And then after uh, that, he'll explain a little bit about what he did and why it's so important that it be done properly. Okay, as you can see, John is starting to just uh, sand down the, the surface. Every inch of the ambulance, right from the roof, right down to the bottom, will be, will be sanded. Uh, with a fairly coarse gray sandpaper. Now, all the preliminary work, all the uh, facing out the dings and, and then primering it and all that, that was all done at Felix Auto Body, as you saw earlier in the video. And now that it's over here at Tyro Coating, they have to sand it. And that's what John is doing now. He's just sanding it down, making sure that the surface is ready to accept the hot spray polyurethane coating. Hey, John with Tyra Coatings. So basically what we do with the uh, painted surface, we don't want it smooth. We want to kind of rough it up and create a profile for our product to bond to. So what I'm using here is 80 grit sanding pads, basically. Uh, it's really aggressive and it's going to provide a profile where we, our product will actually anchor stronger than if we use a finer grit sanding paper. So it's really important when we're doing it to make sure to get right up to all the edges and to do uh, kind of crisscross patterns so that every surface is completely broken up. Once again, this material is really strong. It's really uh, durable and it sticks together. So if it starts coming off, it's gonna peel off in a full sheet. So what we wanna do is make sure that there's no spots where it can start to delaminate and uh, start to peel. So that's basically the importance of the sanding what we want to do is make sure that we get every square inch right up to the millimeter of the edges. So what you're in effect saying is that if you go to the trouble of uh, putting on a polyurethane coating, it's 
probably best to have it done by a professional. I would recommend it. Yes, <laughs> you would. All right. Well, thank you very much, John. I appreciate uh, what you're doing, and I really look forward to the next step in the process. Uh, you're welcome, Jim. We appreciate the work. Thank you. a heavy-duty, hot-sprayed, textured polyurethane coating that is sprayed onto the surface at 140 degrees Celsius. This super-tough protective coating will protect Oso from the wear and tear of off-grid travel. The second coating is a color-matched polyurethane industrial quality paint that will provide UV protection and keep Oso looking good for years to come. Once all the masking paper and tape is removed, Oso is ready to be loaded onto the citywide towing flat deck and returned to Felix Auto Body to be made roadworthy again. Oso the Bear Ambo is really looking good. The makeover is complete and all the wrinkles and creases resulting from many years of hard service have been covered with a fresh, hot sprayed polyurethane coating professionally applied by Tyro Coating in Calgary, Alberta. The bumper, windshield, windows and side mirrors have been put back on by Felix Auto Body and also is again roadworthy and can be driven back to Polar Mobility Research to resume the conversion into an off-grid tiny home. Join us for the next video in this series as we start in on that process. <music>